You've certainly shown you can deliver the goods where it comes to Little Queen. He runs in the next. Great run at the Curra weekend. Just missed the break there. as She bounced out of it really well. She, uh, she, she comes out of her races really well. She's a, she's a, she just loves her racing and she enjoys everything. And, you know, she likes it up here. Like, I suppose, I don't like running her as soon, but, like, there's no, there was three races to suit her in the space of a week. You know, if they were a bit more spaced out, I might have, you know, like, but listen, I kind of forced her on her um, in some ways. So, um, listen, she's in good form. I wouldn't put anyone off her. She likes it up here. I think Lupini is to give her something to think about, but um, I think um, she'll be thereabouts regardless. Fair play. I'm sure she'll give a good account of herself. And form horse, without doubt, is number one, Little Queenie, the Camacho filly, who was third at the Courage just last weekend behind Bold Optimist. That was a really good run. She was on the back foot from the word go that day due to a slow start. She'd won here on her previous outing. And she seems to really like it here at Dundalk. And, of course, she's been in to give trainer Paul Flynn a double after his success in the opener. She's such a likeable merry little queenie. And got lots and lots of form here at Dundalk as well. Comes into it in great heart. There isn't really an awful lot not to like other than the fact, I suppose, she's yet to win off this mark. But having gone oh so close... On Saturday, it looks as though it might not be beyond her in truth. Robert Weirty, her regular rider, claims five off her once again. She was a winner on her last visit here. And seems equally effective over five and six furlongs. So it would be, I think, a big shock if she isn't right in the thick of things once again here today. Obviously, if she can get away on terms, it will help her cause... All the more so. That's our 13 to 8 market leader. Then final. Our one racing more than sprint handicap. And it's Tom was on who takes them along. Followed by Mint Man, Little Queenie, Handy in between horses. Don't spoil a sale next to Maldofino and Jedid Maddox at the back. Final voyage in Scorchio. Four and a half furlongs to go, and the leader is Tom was on by a length to Little Queenie, another length back to Don't Spoil a Sail, Shuffle back in the fourth, Mint Man, two lengths to Janet Maddox and Multifino, who race together with the final couple. Final voyage in Scorchio, little changes in the order as they tighten up a fraction, it's Tom was on, with almost on terms Little Queenie as they pass the halfway stage. Then Mint Man and Don't Spoil a Sail and Multifino in a line for last, Janet Maddox, final voyage in Scorchio. Straightening on up for the judge, two and a half furlongs to go. The bar one racing more and sprint handicap. Tall was on, with coming to challenge the great little queen, followed by Multifina, who begins a run. Further over is Don't Spoil the Sail. On the stand side is Mint Man, racing to the final furlong, and it's Little Queenie battling it out with Maltafina, followed by Don't Spoil the Sail and Mint Man, Towers and Fades, then final voyage. Little Queenie, and on the far side, Maltafino, not much between them, and it's Little Queenie now nudging on close to the line. What a start for Paul Flynn. Maltafina's second, final voyage, third. Unbearable after this, Paul Flynn. He doubles up with Little Queenie here. What a star she is. Her fourth win here at Dundalk and her sixth all told. And today she was able to secure a prominent early pitch. And it was only Maltafino in the end who was capable of making her work for it. Another good run from Maltafino. The door will eventually open for him. But he's just come up a little bit short against this tough filly turning out quickly after that run at the Curra at the weekend. And interestingly there, they swung out wide off the bend and they've kind of come more middle to stand side here. And little Queenie always just getting the upper hand over Multifino. Mint Man and Final Voyage have run well too. Final Voyage claiming the bronze medal finish this time around. Here we are, the head-on replay. With the pace today coming from Tawazon in the first time visor, he couldn't sustain it, though Little Queenie taking over at this stage. And try as he might, Multifino could not quite get past this tough and hardy mare, carrying the colours of Michael Connolly. Really popular result here at Dundalk. Paul Flynn takes the opening two races.
Okay, see, Robert, what a smashing mare this is. You must love riding her every time. I love riding her, yeah. She's so simple to ride. Um, the last day, um, she ended up just jumping a little too early. She heard a bang at the gates, and she just jumped and hit the front of them. Uh, and then they opened, she just missed the beat. Um, I just kind of had to ride her racing her thereafter, but it worked out ideal there. So. Looked like you were in pole position all the way through. Any anxious moments at all? Uh, I kind of... We went too far along, and I was kind of thinking, are we going a little bit slow for her? She was traveling, like, um, but to be fair, when she's going that little stride slower, you're able to get a little bit of a breather into her and go again. Good man. Welcome back to Dundalk. What a day it's been for Paul Flynn. We heard from him after his win in the first with the two-year-old debutante, and Paul's got a mystery guest with him here as we celebrate the success of Little Queenie. This must be one of your greatest days, isn't it? Yeah, God, yeah. <laughs> Definitely is. <laughs> the owners on the double, I'm sure. Uh, oh, I don't know. Right? I, I, I never, I never, I never too confident about the first one. Now, to be fair, because I just thought you need the run and I'm being a bit green. But uh, this, uh, well, how could I have a travel? We're going to, we're going to Tremor tonight. So uh, uh, we've won down there. So I'm going to drive on there now in a minute. But uh, I have uh, some eggs to keep me company here. This is Shawnee. Shawnee owns Little Queenie. You got Shawnee's free range eggs here. Uh, you get these down. Free well, advertising now on Racing TV, Shawnee. Yeah, you get these, Shawnee. I have uh, 13 chickens at home, so I do. Yeah, yeah. And that pays for Little Queenie's training fees. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. where the money comes that's from. Right? The money comes yeah. Yeah. And, uh, he does pay, he's too, too young to pay tax. Uh, just uh, Hector the Collector, if you're watching, this man is too young there. No? <laughs> Charlie, what, what a filly she is. How much fun are you having watching Little Queenie? Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Every time she, she was brilliant, so she was. Are you confident today we're getting a deal done here and everything? <laughs> What? You thought you won't pay for them? <laughs> we'll do a deal now in a minute, okay. Are you going to Tremor with the trainer as well? Are you? That's enough for one day. Right, go back to That's enough now. Go back to mind the chickens. Did I hear you might be travelling this filly abroad? Has this man got his passport ready? Yeah, no passport ready. We might have to bring Mike over there on the boat because uh, he, he, no one actually knows he exists, so we'll smuggle him in the boot. Uh, but uh, Mike... Uh, Keep it that way, will All the lads, um, listen, all the lads are... They, 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 they bought her, yeah, yeah. They're just trained the winner there, yeah. You're on, you're on the telly here. No, no, no. Is this a friend of yours? Eh? No, I've never met the man. Your fans. No. <laughs> My cousin trained Paul. Oh, did he? Oh, well. Cromwell. Oh, did win the last race? I don't know. Who won the last race? I did. This man. <laughs> one of the most famous men in the business. I think yeah. the cousin, uh, Cromwell, he trained Paul. Oh, right. Yeah. What did you say? Uh, well, you think you'll send me one, huh? You never know how these things are going to go in this game, do you? Yeah. yeah. But, um, but <laughs> anyway, will you win in Tremor later? I think he'd run well. He uh, disappointed us the last day, but... Um, Kevin Sexton performed miracles to stay on him the last day, and it doesn't look the best to race. I think he'd run well, so uh, the way things are going, I, I won't put anyone off with you, Bobby. Great stuff. Super day. Well done to you all, guys. Johnny, nice to meet you. And I'm going to get another horse to train here now. Yeah. Yeah. I think you might have a few eggs to sell. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>